She wakes up and takes up a surfboard Heads out, out from the seashore From the world and where she lives She's got no fears or worries at all right there Just the smell of salt water that's in the air And the sunrise The ocean is in motion, the epic key to life. Knowledge is so priceless, so be sharp like a knife on top of the world. A floater you will bust in love with the ocean. Big ways you do less. Getting held under, pulling in deep. No need to climb down. If it's a ledge, I'd rather leap. Gnarly that was Jamila Starr, big wave rider, mother, and yeah, rapper. <laughs> I'm Jody Kay here at Turtle Bay with Fly Girl Sports TV. We'll finish up her song later and we'll also talk with you about Jamila Starr's near death experience. We also have action from the SUP World Tour at Turtle Bay. We'll be interviewing some awesome top junior athletes. That's next here on Fly Girls. Hang 10. We'll be right back. <laughs> Join the raddest female surfers pull in at Pipeline at the Surf and Sea Pipeline Women's Pro March 16th through the 24th. Brought to you by Surf and Sea, NYR Organic, Kim Taylor Reese, Hawaiian Ola, Bonsai Sushi, and more. All in honor of Duke Kahanamoku. Surfing was spectacular at the Junior Pro at Sunset. It was the first event of the World Surfing League Tour. These young girls are striving to become pro surfers, and it is not an easy journey. Some of the juniors are just 11 years old, and surf at sunset was rising up to 10 feet. Choo! <laughs> I'm 12 years old and I plan on traveling around for the junior pros and someday making it onto the world tour. It's definitely a lot bigger, more powerful wave than most of the waves on Kauai, but it's really fun. challenging conditions, kind of a weird swell. Um, yeah, it's kind of peaking up and not much wall out there. Just good to have an event on the North Shore, not have to travel somewhere. Yeah, I recently got to round of 24 in the six star in China, which I was pretty happy with. And just kind of starting my Q off, QS here off pretty good. Really professional events and good setup and fun waves. Some points this year so I can get in the better QSs next year and then just through the years work hard to get on the tour <laughs> yeah winning's good too <laughs> really difficult. Everybody was scrambling and trying to get the best wave. It was really difficult out there, but it was fun. Everybody was kind of like a little bit far out and a little bit deep, but that was just my opinion. So I kind of started to stay in and on the side so I could um, try to get the best two waves as fast as possible, or at least a wave with two good turns. I actually really love Sunset. It's my favorite spot on the right, North Shore. And I was just so Jay stoked Marshall's to make it. <laughs> I'm 11 and my future goals are to nice go to the view, World Tour no and get there. World Championships.
are here with one of our finalists here at the Junior Pro at Sunset Beach. How's it going for you today? Good. The waves are really fun, so yeah. Tell us what was your um, most memorable wave or the best wave that you feel like you got in the semifinals to get you to the finals. Congratulations. Um, it was kind of hard to pick up um, the pick the right ones, but I got a couple good drops. Um, I'm trying to get the ones that um, have the most wall so I can um, produce the best turns and um, just not go too deep, but just stay in, on the reef and stuff. Um, I just did a QS in China, which is a really cool experience, and um, I'm going to do the Supergirl once again. and. Um, maybe next year do more QSs and um, more juniors, of course, and right, Hasas and NSAs. Right. Can you tell us where you're from, how old you are? Um, I'm from Kailua, Hawaii, and I am 15 years old. Nice. So are you feeling comfortable out here on the North Shore today? Yeah, it's super fun. Yeah. Nice. Well, good luck. Mm -hmm. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Junior Pro here at Sunset Beach. How are you feeling right now, Dax? Oh, I'm so stoked. This has been a hard, to, rough first start of the year, but I'm so like to start it with a win. <laughs> nice. Congratulations. You were amazing out there. It was firing in the final round. Tell us how it was it out there catching those huge waves. I was really stoked. The day before the contest started, it was about 10 feet, and I was having a ball on my TNC board. And then I was kind of bummed when I walked down this morning. It was kind of small, but it picked up throughout the day. It was solid, like six, seven foot yeah, out there, so I was stoked to get a couple. Nice. She caught some bombs today. We're very proud of her. Did you get caught in between any of the sets out there when it was pounding down? I did one. I paddled for one and then got blown off it. And then I turned behind. There was about an eight footer on my head. <laughs> nice. We handled it well. Congratulations. In second place, our surfer in white. 750 points and $400. Honolulu Bluefield. And taking the win with a commanding result in the final for a thousand points and a check for nine hundred dollars. Dax McGill. All right, Dax. Yeah, great surfing girls. Congratulations to all four of our.
You had a really nice cover up. It seemed like you had a really Going good sense of where you were at on the wave. Do you remember that one? How was that for you? Another yeah. couple of snaps uh, like, to finish I've, this one out. My support crew was like all boys and they were just like, go out there and get barreled on I was like, uh, I don't know if I can, but I didn't even expect, I didn't even, I came in and didn't think I got barreled, but it was just a little cover up. What was the best part of the, the competition for you today in the final rounds? Um, just, I caught a lot of waves, it was pumping sunset, so I just was super happy and had a lot of fun. Nice. Well, congratulations. We'll see her again too uh, soon. Aloha from Fly Girls Sports TV. Make Green Tea Hawaii a part of your healthy lifestyle with over 200 health benefits, including weight loss, increased energy, and lower your stress. Call now for your special Kama Aina rate. Drink a little tea, lose a little weight. Can it be so easy? Okay, be ready to be entertained. Jamila Starr has been entertaining and rapping for a while now. She has boundless energy on land and in the water. Ladies and gentlemen, Jamila Starr. The ocean is in motion, the epic key to life. Knowledge is so priceless, so be sharp like a knife on top of the world. A floater you will bust in love with the ocean. Big ways you do less. Getting held under, pulling in deep. No need to climb down if it's a ledge I'd rather leap. Gnarly cold sensation, warm soothing bliss. Praying to the ocean, it is our gift. Thank you, thank you to the heavenly sea. Ocean, sunset, me, Betty, and Jody K. Woo! God bless you guys. Wow, the feeling surfing big waves, I have to say, is one of the most exciting, radical feelings you could ever feel. It's like the moment that energy enters your body, it's like you become one with this ultimate force that is infinite. And I think that big waves love us as much as we love big waves. You just look down the face and the moment you're going to drop in, you stomp down to make sure you don't get blown back up. And you just see silver and turquoise light. Sometimes there's rainbow sprays that swirl around you and you just fall and fall and fall. The lower you get, the better it is for that first initial drop. And then when you make it, you get this like sensation of success. Like you're in the right spot at the right time and every wave you're never the same. I was training the Jamstar International Team Girls for Waimea Bay and I complained and I said it was too small and I was over it. And that was the one time that an outside set hit me and um, I got wrapped in my leash, I went underwater, and I, I held my breath for over three minutes and then went unconscious. I went to heaven, I went through these glowing gates, and the first person I saw was my mom. And she touched my hair like this and she goes, said, go back, sweetie, it's not your time. And I said, no, I don't want to, leave me here, it's so gorgeous. It was just glowing, epic light and the best feeling I ever had, so they sent me back. And uh, the next thing I knew I was in the shore break and my head popped up and I just said, wow, thank God I'm alive. So that's one reason I don't complain and I never say it's too small or too big. I respect the ocean and to be honest, any one of those waves has more mass, energy and power than me. So it's a unification of me and the ocean. You know, the ocean allows me to surf big waves. <laughs> Well, Waimea Bay is uh, one of my favorite waves in the world, and this is Waimea. Say hi! Hi. Um, it is just spectacular. Now, the crowds have really expanded once again in the last year, so it just takes all your mental energy just to get 
in the center of those 80 guys, but I was really blessed to get about 14 waves. I was getting more of the fun waves. The set waves were just, there was nowhere to take off too many people in the wave, but um, I got about 14, 12 footers and maybe a couple 15 footers, and I was just really blessed. But Waimea Bay to me is a really sacred location, and I think with the crowds, and the increase in interest in big ways we should do that much more to protect the area. Cleaning the sides of um, the trash that's left over after the big swells and just being extra cautious too so the lifeguards don't have to make too many rescues. And um, one thing about Waimea Bay, it's definitely not a beginner wave. It's kind of incredible a lot of the guys going out there with their brand new equipment and no big wave experience. So I'd say practice makes perfect, so make sure you train and prepare and are 100% sure that you're meant to be there. Up next, my favorite sport, SUP. The first stop of the SUP World Tour was at Turtle Bay on the North Shore. All of the top riders were there for the challenge. We'll check in with Sophia Barlow and Dominique Miller to give us the scoop on the comp and the conditions. Well, it's great to be back in the birthplace where Hei and Nalu was born and um, yeah, this was my first event last year at the professional level competing for stand-up surfing and so it's really exciting to be back here at Turtle Bay. Unfortunately, there's not much of a channel so it's difficult conditions for the ladies to get out. However, the level of the women has been ever increasing and so it's really exciting to just go out there and put on the best performance possible. I feel like Turtle Bay is a pretty hard spot for stand-up um, and I feel like the conditions, it's really tough to get it on a perfect day, but I also feel like surfing in these kind of conditions really makes you stronger and it really pushes you to try your best and just really go for it. But um, I hope in the next couple days or today the conditions improve because it is, it's pretty tough, especially paddling out through there. It's kind of a lose-lose situation. The winning aspect is that we're all in this boat together. And so that's kind of comforting. Um, all of us know how to surf, but these conditions can kind of make us look like we don't. And, um, you know, everyone's doing the best they can. It was tough. I was competing. Did you see me in the blue jersey? It was so challenging. I was eating it. I was a true fly girl flying through the sky. Dominique Miller is on the injury list though. After hurting her foot, she had 11 stitches. We wish you the best, Dominique. As I was competing, Brittany Penarosa was getting the scoop. She's with the current world champion. Take it away, Britt. Hi, I'm with current world champion Izzy Gomez and she just surfed out in her heat. Did you last year, was there anything that helped you achieve your goal, the world title? Um, I guess it was just, you know, I had a lot of motivation and um, I won two events the previous year and that, that was my rookie year so I was just like happy to be able to be a part of it and then, you know, I went after my goal and I achieved it so I was super happy. <laughs> Are you planning on doing all the events this year? Yeah, I'm planning on doing the whole tour and um, maybe some races too, but mainly just focusing on the surfing side of it. I actually haven't, have never um, had a jet ski assist since today, so today was my first time and all the girls were so fortunate that we had it out here and because, um, you know, we'd be spending half the heat just trying to get out, so it was, it was really, you know, it was good. <laughs> well, 
Thank you. Have a good one. Hey, I'm with Candice, and she just surfed out in her heat. How are the conditions? It look pretty tough. Yeah, it's definitely challenging. Um, lots of water moving. It's dropped from earlier this morning, which is nice. And uh, yeah, water's warm. Girls are ripping. We're surviving and getting some turns in, so it's fun. Where do you practice in California for conditions like this? Um, I surf San Onofre a lot, sometimes Oceanside. And I love Hawaii, my favorite, one of my favorite places, and Makaha Beach is my favorite place. That's where I hone my skills in stand-up paddling, and of course, Queens and Waikiki. And um, you know, anytime you can come stand-up paddle and compete on the North Shore, it's awesome. Oh. Hey Mason. Hi. Waves look pretty. I look like they're cleaning up a little bit. How was yeah. it? Um, it's super fun. It was actually, I think, it got a little smaller. So, uh, yeah, definitely better <laughs> than this morning. Well, I know you longboard too. Do you have a favorite? Um, I think longboarding probably, but I like stand-up paddling when it gets a little smaller. So yeah. <laughs> so I heard your mom's a golfer. Yeah. Do you also golf? No. <laughs> I'm horrible at golfing, actually. I've tried, but I'm not as good as she is. <laughs> well, that's a good thing you can have fun. Yeah. Good luck and all right. Yes, we, cool. Thank, Thank you. you. We're here with Nicole at the World Sub Tour at Turtle Bay. How are the conditions out there? Did the jet ski help in any way? Yeah, the jet ski helped a lot because like there are waves breaking everywhere so it's kind of hard to go out. <laughs> I think all the girls will lose like a lot of time of the heat because of that, just go trying to go out. So the jet ski was the best thing. Well, how is the scene here compared to Brazil? Like, is there any difference? Yeah, here, uh, now in Brazil there's no waves not, uh, there, so it's summer there and it's almost flat. Here in Hawaii, the waves are so much like more powerful than Brazil, and I think I like to surf here because of that. Well, you're a former world champion. Are you gonna, since it's the beginning of the season, are you gonna try to shoot for that again? Yeah, for sure. I will try to do my best here. It was good that I got a good wave now in the first heat. So, uh, give me confidence to just keep going. Well, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Join the raddest female surfers pull in at Pipeline at the Surf and Sea Pipeline Women's Pro March 16th through the 24th. Brought to you by Surf and Sea, NYR Organic, Kim Taylor Reese, Hawaiian Ola, Bonsai Sushi, and more. All in honor of Duke Kahanamoku. Aloha and welcome back to Fly Girl Sports TV. So conditions did improve for the women's pro finals at Turtle Bay and it was a true international lineup. Let's check it out. Shakira Westhorpe from Australia. Shakira, tell us about your day out there today in the water. Um, yeah, well, it started off, it was just uh, white water roll throughs, you know, pretty much the whole time. Um, as the day progressed, the waves got better, they were hitting the bank better, and um, 
And yeah, towards the end I was uh, starting to figure the break out a bit more and um, yeah, uh, stoked to have got as far as I did and get a second. <laughs> uh, we're here live with Caroline Angebu from France. She's the winner of the Stand Up Paddleboard World Tour today at Turtle Bay. How's it feel? I'm really, really happy. It was not expected for me. I was completely tired during the final and I had no waves until the last eight minutes so it was really hard to catch two good waves in eight minutes and I was really mad because I didn't surf in the beginning of the hit so I really want to surf just for myself not for competing or for the scores but I really want to to have fun for myself. And then it all came together for you in the end you racked up some huge points on your last wave tell us a little bit about that wave. Um, it was just maybe 30 seconds before the end and the wave just came and I said okay I will just have to surf and whatever happened and I had a good feeling on this one so I I didn't hear the score during the hit because it was too far out, and so I didn't know I won. And nice. Well, congratulations again, Caroline. It all came together for you. Go France! Woo! 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 This is how you get there. Find the ocean at surf and sea. This is how you find the best gear. Everything for the ocean is here. Don't just sit around the beach. Adventure. Thanks for joining us here on Fly Girl Sports TV. We're celebrating our 80th show. Yep, that's 80 episodes of bringing stories of amazing athletes to you. We're also starting a Facebook campaign, so log in and tell us what being a Fly Girl means to you, and you could win a prize. See you next time. Fly Girl Sports TV is brought to you by Hair by Lisa and Nixie. Hair, nails, facials, and more. Your one-stop beauty shop in Holly Eva. Legends Glassworks and artist Chaz Beasley. Find him on Facebook. And by Jerry's Pizza in Wailua. Jerry's Pizza, the best pizza, and now with delivery.